going to show you how to make one of these crochet Easter bunnies. First of all, make um, a chain of four. Then join with a slip stitch into the first chain. Then you're going to chain three and then into the loop you are going to make 12 treble crochets. When you've finished your 12 treble crochets you are going to slip stitch into the third cha starting chain. So you have 12 treble crochets like that. Then you are going to chain two and put a half treble into that first chain. And then you're going to put two half trebles into each stitch around so you will end up with 24 half trebles in this round. And again, when you finish those, you are going to join with a slip stitch in the second chain of the starting chain from that round. You're then going to chain two and then make a treble crochet in the base of that starting chain. One treble. And then in the next chain, you are going to put two double treble crochets. Followed by a treble crochet and a half treble crochet in the next chain. So it should look like that, that's the rabbit's head. Then you're going to chain nine. And in the third chain from the hook, you will make a half treble. And in the next chain, you will make a treble crochet. Then you're going to make a double treble crochet followed by another double treble crochet. So it looked like that. Then you're going to make a treble crochet in the next chain followed by a half treble crochet. And then finally, in the last chain, you're going to make a double crochet. So that's the ear complete. And you're going to repeat that for the second ear, starting with that chain nine again. And when you've finished with the double crochet at the bottom of the ear, you're going to make a slip stitch into the base of the half treble from the rabbit's head. So that's your rabbit complete. Cut off the end and then sew in the ends. And then I have, you can use these um, however you want, whether you want to applique with them, whether you want to make a number of them and have some sort of bunt in. I had all good intention of embroidering everyone's names onto them for place settings, but ran out of time. So I added a pom-pom for the tail 
and then I got my daughter to do her beautiful lettering and put everyone's names um, onto a little bit of paper which I then pinned on for the place setting at the Easter table. I uh, made a small one here for my niece. I hope that you have fun with them, whatever you do.